Patrick Bilingania here and welcome to Patrick's channel. Today's video, I want to talk about how do I set up my camera. Like what settings do I use when I'm on set and how do I get the most cinematic shots out of my camera. It doesn't matter what camera you're using, uh, the steps are the same. As long as you got these four things in your camera, you're going to be straight, trust me. First thing you're going to do is hit that subscribe button if you want to though but you don't have to but you're gonna help me well help the channel if you want to be nice i mean if you want to be nice you don't want to anyway back into the video so the first thing that you want to do is put your camera in manual exposure you want your camera to record in manual exposure you do not want your camera to start uh checking your exposure for you don't put in auto exposure put it in manual exposure period the reason why i said put the camera in manual exposure it's easy for you to control your settings and camera you can control your shadow speed your frame rate all that cool stuff and camera so the camera don't have to do anything for you you gotta control the camera don't let the camera control you the second thing that you're gonna to want to do is put your camera in a log profile you want to shoot as flat as possible don't shoot too flat though if you don't know how to grade and all that but shoot in a log flat profile Man, trust the process. The reason why I took you to shoot in log is because uh, log gives you a better dynamic range. Well, dynamic range is the information your camera is able to capture from the highlights and the shadows. <laughs> I almost said the low lights. <laughs> Hey, this will make that a word, the low lights. <laughs> but no, the highlights and the shadows. <laughs> That's what's dynamic range. <laughs> the low light is the gotcha. The third thing is you want to shoot double your frame rate. If you are shooting in 24 frames per second, that means you have to put your shadow speed on 50. 50. Don't go any higher than that, it will not look natural. If you're shooting on 24 frames per second, take your shadow speed to 50. 50, that is good for you. That's the most cinematic look you can get at 24 frames per second. The fourth tip is white balance. How do you get to white balance, right, Patrick? But how? But how? not that hard it's just that you know when you're shooting grab a white piece of paper uh, and make sure your paper and camera looks super super white well original white or you can get a black paper and Yo, shut up with all these bees, man. And just make sure it looks super natural black in camera. That's how you get your like your white balance correct. And all that. It's just simple. The rest is just go shoot. Go shoot. You wanna shoot? Go shoot. It's not that hard. Go shoot. Grab a camera and go shoot. What are you waiting for? And guys, that's it. Thanks as always for watching. And uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Make sure you turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any video that I drop. What else do I gotta say? Till next time, Patrick.